Hello guys and welcome to our channel. My name is Francesca. I'm Anna Chiara. I'm Rossella. And uh, as you can see, we have a new guest in our channel. She's Rossella, she's a good friend of us. And we invited her. Very close. Very close. <laughs> <laughs> and we invited her here in our channel today because we are reacting to a really interesting video, which is the most iconic food in every state of the United States. And the reason why we invited her because with us, she share the passion for food. <laughs> um, we, right. we love food in general, we love cooking, so um, we are really curious to see what these iconic food are, what do we think about them. Spoiler alert, that Rosella and I don't eat meat, so I think a lot of dishes we might not like, or at least we would say we wouldn't eat them, but we don't judge anyone, anybody, everyone can eat whatever they want. So we're really curious to see what this is about and if the stereotype about the United States that the food sometimes isn't that good or is a lot of greasy stuff. Let's see if that is real or if that corresponds to what this video is gonna show us. So yes, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, put a like on this video and don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Yes, and let's watch the video. Yeah. That's a lot of avocado. Yeah. From Maine lobster rolls that to New York pizza. Here's each state yeah. food. <laughs> Alabama's pick is smoked chicken with white sauce. Chicken is smoked wow. for hours and then dunked in a tangy white sauce. I bet there's wow. gonna be a lot of barbecue. Alaska yeah. commercially wow. harvests. Oh yes, this is good. Salmon a year. Yeah, it of course Alaska has salmon. Ways. Grilled, smoked, cured, you name it. The Sonoran dog is originally from no, Mexico, no, yes. but is extremely popular in Arizona. Not my favorite, this one. The bacon round hot dog is topped okay. with beans, onions, tomato, and a drizzle of musk. I'm curious to see, sorry if I'm interrupting the video, if for California they're gonna shoot, they're gonna show some healthy food, because we lived in California and I would say that the food there was pretty healthy. So I wonder if that is what it's this video is uh, gonna say. I think it's pretty healthy, but uh, I think they eat a lot more meat. Than mm, what a lot of chicken. Yeah, a lot of chicken, white lot meat of chicken. in particular, uh, than what we are used to consider healthy. Yeah, but that's I don't true. know. Yeah, but there are a lot of point of view about that. So it's what we are used to consider healthy, but I don't know. And what else do you think? Just to, before we see the video, because in New York, what I think about New York is maybe the hot dog that they yeah, sell the on the street, dog, cheesecake, mm -hmm. cheesecake. That's cake. right. Okay. Um, the only thing that Americans didn't copy from Italy. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Wow. We're hitting up. <laughs> I already saw the Chicago pizza. Did that Chicago, mean? oh yeah. I, was, I forgot it, but uh, I had the, had the same uh, thought about it. <laughs> and maybe in Texas, I'm expecting some bar. Mexican too, maybe. I don't oh. know if they're gonna put some Mexican in it, but well, this they say it's Mexican too, mm -hmm. uh, with jalapeno. Yeah, and I don't know because they mix a lot like Chicago pizza. Yeah, so maybe there is like some variant but, uh, yeah. of Mexican food or Chinese food or I don't know. They don't steal know how food one. everywhere. Well, in the, <laughs> in San Francisco there is the crab. Um, yeah, the Not crab like the and other. Clam chowder, like the soup with the, the, the bread. With the yeah, bread. Yeah, I didn't remember. And also, they sell a lot of, well, they have a lot of. Is it lobster? I think yeah, it's lobster. I think it's lobster. That you eat on the pier. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we made some guesses. Let's see. Mustard mm. and jalapeno salsa. And burger, of course. Arkansas takes <laughs> its cheese dip In and very out seriously. There's even a World Cheese Dip Championship in Little Rock every year. 90% okay. of the avocados produced in the U.S. Okay, come from California. California. Oh my god, I gotta say one last <laughs> thing. The thing that most imp impressed me when I was in California was the amount of avocado that yeah. you could see when you enter a store. I have to say the, the avocado in Italy became popular in the past five years yeah. and every time you go to a store you have this tiny little corner that you can find like 10 avocados if you're lucky <laughs> and they're not even that good. Well, you enter Trader Joe for example in California or Whole Food, and you have this massive amount of avocado like literally is sometimes like the first thing you see when you go in the fruit and vegetable section and it's so incredible, so I'm not surprised to see yeah. this. They love avocado. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
And it's not just guacamole and avocado toast that's being made. There are avocado burgers, fries, True. chocolate, and even beer. <laughs> oh, no, it's Rocky Mountain beer. oysters are a Colorado specialty. What is They're that? not oysters. Oh. They're deep fried bull right testicles. There? Some say they taste <gasps> like huge. Jamie Calamari. What? New Haven style pizza, also known as a pizza. Is characterized pizza. by its but this cool is Connecticut pizza crust. and then there is chicken It originated pizza. at the Frank Pepe oh, Pizzeria, which doesn't is also have known cheese. for its white clam pizza. Okay. Yeah, I don't love pizza with um, fish in it. I don't. It, but in Italy, there is two pizza with fish in it, but I don't. Was clam pizza? What was pizza. that big potato that they fried? Testicles. Uh, oh, of what? Doesn't oh sound good. God. No, <laughs> I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> dumplings are rolled out paper thin and cut into large rectangles. Mm, this looks good. The Cuban sandwich is made with ham, roast pork, okay. Swiss cheese, pickles, and mustard. It was created by Cuban immigrants in Florida. The peach cobbler is one of the most popular desserts peach in Georgia. Peach cobbler, okay, this looks good. Yeah, I never tried. Fruit. Ooh, with peaches. Poke okay, is native to Hawaii. Mm, okay. It consists of diced raw fish Delicious. such as salmon oh, I, or tuna. This is getting sauce. famous in Italy. Everywhere. Too. Idaho grows the most potatoes in the U.S. These potatoes are made into French fries, chicken, yeah, and other okay. garlic delights. While there is a debate on which restaurant has the best, oh it's irrefutable that Chicago oh, deep dish pizza is good. Good. <laughs> But he's like the <laughs> style to make pizza. Yeah, Did you see how thick that is? But is it what, all cheese that? I mean, I think it is. Oh, it's bread. Um, but it's not uh, like. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I think the crust is thicker than a normal pizza, but it does have a lot of cheese. It does I have mean, a lot of cheese. It uh, remember me um, English food that is uh, the cake with the pork with the pig. I don't know with the uh, uh, meat of. Uh, yeah. It's kind of like torta salata. For yeah. Us. Mm. Maybe it's a uh, yeah salty cake. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it uh, remember it me that, that. But... yeah because it has a lot of filling. So it doesn't like pizza for us. It's like a thin crust with just some cheese and mm. whatever ingredients in, so is on top. Time. Here is like in, like a lot of uh, filling. Also the 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 size the size is for uh, <laughs> eight people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But they usually, oh, sorry, they usually share. In America, they usually share pizza. Oh, they never okay. eat one pizza for one person. Oh, like strange. in Italy, it's a bit uh, lighter, and uh, but you every person eat one pizza. Yeah. In America, I don't know. It's a bit heavier. I don't know. They put more cheese or maybe another Either type of larger. cheese. Uh, well, sometimes the size is kind of the same, but they put I don't know more cheese or, mm -hmm. or a lot of, mm -hmm. like chicken on it mm -hmm. or other stuff on it. Mm -hmm. So it's have you can't eat one whole pizza yeah, by yourself. Okay. I think it's almost like a cultural thing that when they eat pizza, it's normal to share. Mm -hmm. Maybe you get like a couple of pizza, different flavors, yeah. and you are like four people at dinner, yeah. and maybe you get something as appetizer and a dessert. It's very normal to share. Where in Italy, culturally, everyone order his own pizza, and then maybe. You take at home whatever. Well, nobody ever a leave slice a slice of pizza. Fellow, yeah, fine. but you never like it. It never happens that you go to a pizza place and you order pizza to share. Yeah, everyone yeah. order his own pizza. Yeah, only in some cases. Y but very yeah, rare. It, yeah, it's very rare. Yeah. Diana loves its pork tenderloin sandwiches, especially when they're fried to crispy perfection. These sandwiches are known for being huge. <laughs> the main right sandwich is a loose meat beef sandwich. It's kind of like a sloppy joe without the sauce. It can get a little bit messy, but it is totally worth it. It's like the Kansas and yeah. yeah. barbecue sure. ribs. Kansas the are the barbecue ribs. with ribs. special mm -hmm. rub and smothered with finger licking American. barbecue sauce. The hot brown is an open faced sandwich consisting of turkey, tomato, mornay sauce, and bacon. It's sauce. put under a broiler yeah. until crispy it and brown. Like, um, and was made at the Brown Hotel in mm. Louisville, Kentucky. Mm. Gumbo is a Louisiana treasure and also the state's official cuisine. The dish what has its roots this? in That's many true? different cultures, including yeah. African, French, and Choctaw. Often served from a big pot, it's filled with chicken and sausage or a seafood medley. Okay. 
Lobster rolls rule in this Maine. This looks good to especially me. Especially <laughs> since 90% of U.S. lobsters are caught off the Maine coast. That looks amazing. A lobster roll is piled high with large chunks of lobster with little to no fillers. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. Americans are obsessed with crab. And one of the best ways to eat it is crab cake. Just don't forget to add some Old Bay. These are good too. No food is more iconic in Massachusetts than clam chowder. This creamy soup is filled mm. with vegetables, cream, stock, and clams. Get it in a bread bowl to make it extra special. Yeah, like in San Francisco. Mackinac yeah. Island fudge it's a is a big way for us, like cream and There are over 13 stuff. fudge But it's shops, really good. Collectively making more I didn't than like 10,000 pounds of fudge Not daily much. during the peak travel the season. One in San Francisco. Making Mackinac Island America's fudge capital. Ooh, sweet. Nothing screams Minnesota more than tater tot hot dish. <laughs> Vegetables, ground beef, and cream of mushroom soup are topped with tater tots and roasted to golden That's so perfection. weird. What is <laughs> you can find the best fried catfish in Mississippi. Mm. Not surprising, since the state is the world's leading producer well, of fried fish. a lot more fish than I thought. Anyway. Yeah. Yes. Toasted ravioli mm, yes. is St. Louis's Absolutely. fun take on the pasta dish. A lot of fried. Each too. ravioli is breaded, fried, and served with marinara sauce. Ravioli. Huckleberries are it grown in the northwestern United mm -hmm. States, especially in the mountainous parts of Montana, and they can be made into yeah. anything. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> Chili with a cinnamon roll is a match made in heaven. This pairing has been served as a school lunch in the West since the 1960s. Can we sleep and sour together? Yes. They have a lot of fantasy. Yeah, yeah that's fires, real. Buffet culture was big in Las Vegas. Prices range from $5 for a breakfast buffet to $65 at the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace, which included unlimited prime rib and crab legs. Apple cider donuts are Ooh. a New England favorite. That looks so New good. Hampshire is home to many apple orchards, including the oldest continuously Ooh. operated one in America. Applecrest Farms. <laughs> Saltwater taffy dates back to the 1880s in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Like the mixture guy. of corn syrup, sugar, and it's butter true. is stretched it's until it becomes no, very yeah, thin and like individually wrapped. Uh, oh, oh, okay. The New Mexico chili is a staple ingredient in New Mexico cuisine. Mm, it starts out as a green pepper and ripens into a red one. It's often mm. roasted or made what into is a puree. It? That is Leo's good. pizza I is see? legendary. Oh. Some say pizza it's the New York, New York tap okay. water that gives the dough its characteristic foldable yet crispy crust. Mm. Looks it's more a, like an yeah. Italian one. Uh, there are two styles yeah. in North Carolina, <laughs> Eastern and Lexington. Eastern lays claim to whole hog barbecuing, while Lexington uh, style mostly uses meat. pork shoulder meat with a ketchup-based sauce. Nephla soup is rich and creamy, filled with potato and small dough balls. This okay. dish comes from the German Russians who settled in North Dakota. What are the... Maybe the Buckeye kind of is a peanut like, butter ball like dipped in oh, okay. chocolate. It resembles the nut of the Buckeye tree, often found in Ohio. Oh, wow. Chicken mm -hmm. fried steak is the epitome of Southern comfort food. <laughs> a large piece of beef steak is breaded and pan fried, and you can't oh, forget no. the gravy. No. No. The Marionberry pie is... Oh, a oh this one I like. Yeah. The Marionberry was actually created at Oregon State University, as part of a berry developing yes. partnership with the U.S. Department of Agriculture in the early 1900s, the film. Philly <clears throat> cheesesteak is world famous. Oh my the god! Roll is loaded with an absurd <laughs> amount of beef steak. Then provolone or cheese whiz is added on top. Stuffed clams, <laughs> also known <laughs> as stuffies, are a local favorite in Rhode Island. Giant quahog clams are stuffed with clam, herbs, and breading. You've got to try a low country boil in South Carolina. It consists of shrimp, sausages, potatoes, corn, it's and some like old bay. Paella, paella. Yeah, it's a lot of things. Of meat meat and fish together. Paella without rice. Paella venison or beef. It's usually grilled yeah. or deep fried. German and Russian immigrants are credited with bringing the dish to South Dakota in the 1870s. Memphis-style ribs can be prepared dry or wet. Dry ribs are covered with a dry rub, while wet ribs are brushed with sauce throughout the cooking process. Texas goes big for barbecue. Oh yeah. It's especially known for its juicy, fall-off-the-bone ribs and tender briskets. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Jello is so popular in Utah that it's the official Jello? state yeah. snack. Utah culture is closely it, tied to Mormon Maybe. culture, which Maybe. also loves Yeah, Jello. nice. Vermont is the leading producer of maple syrup in the oh, U.S. 
Tree sap is mm -hmm. boiled into sugar I love and then syrup. filtered mm -hmm. into syrup before making its wow. way onto your pancakes. Smithfield ham is a hometown favorite for Virginia. It's a specific form of ham cured in Smithfield, Virginia. Coffee culture is big in Washington. Home to coffee yeah. giant Starbucks, the state also has many independently owned coffee shops to... Oh yeah, the first Starbucks cravings. opened in West Washington West Virginians state. love their pepperoni rolls. Mm -hmm. They were invented as an easy lunch meal for coal miners in the 1920s. Is pepperoni like... Wisconsin is considered so the I'm, cheese yeah. state. <laughs> and one of the best ways to eat cheese I'm, is I'm cheese curds. Whether they're eaten fresh oh, no, or deep fried, okay. they make okay. an oh, awesome snack. Fried. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bison steaks are popular in Wyoming. They're described as having a lighter, slightly sweeter flavor than beef. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm ready for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> and tonight for dinner we are having a really Italian, yeah. stereotypical dinner because we're making a risotto. <laughs> yeah. <It's> safe. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I, I like it. I mean, um... There are a lot of food of the food they show. It's a bit heavy, you know, a lot of big portion and a lot of meat too. But I was surprised because I saw they use a lot of uh, clams, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of um, crabs, crabs, yeah, or crab sea, leg, yeah, lobster, and, uh, yes. and then I love. So of course it's really good. I love the all the sweet. <laughs> the pie, the show, and all that part is really good, and I don't know, it, it was good. I I I felt worse yeah. about this day. Yeah. It was actually Me too. pretty good. A, a yeah. bit too much fry, maybe. I would say that I was expecting to see pretty much what we saw. There was a lot of fried uh, dishes, and there was a lot of sandwiches. Like a yes. lot of states yeah. make yeah. sandwiches. In different ways, but just a lot of sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Instead, I think in Italy we have more That's dishes true. that are either baked or made of, you know, cooked. And, I don't know really. I'm so excited what I'm saying. Without bread, like yeah. I would say that we see um, sandwiches more as a snack. It doesn't really yes. substitute a meal for us. Mm -hmm. I would say we have a lot of fur cups. First curves. Yes, first curves. Yeah. First meal is probably yeah, the we most. We never see uh, no only some uh, first curves is yeah. in this video. That is true. More some more so second so more like meat instead of yeah. yeah there but are first curves is maybe one or two. Well, yeah. there are some soup. They show some yes, soups and so the ravioli, yeah. but I don't uh, know if the it was considered a first uh, or curse. a side dish. Sometimes mm -hmm. like those little things. Yeah, can even be considered as like as side dishes. But I would say that probably in the U.S. sandwiches literally something like they yes, are a full meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah this meal comes meal. from English culture. This because uh, if you go yeah. to England to London, you can see that m most of the people uh, have a lunch with the sandwiches. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. They have lighter, well, this is not really light. <laughs> no, <laughs> but it quicker, probably. Yeah, yes. quicker, a quicker. Quicker, yes. Yeah, so, yeah. We yes. usually still like to sit down and have a full mm -hmm. meal, maybe like a first course and mm -hmm. second course, even Indeed. for lunch. Because sometimes, like, when I go out for lunch for work and we have like an hour break, which is mm -hmm. not a long break, yeah. we literally go to a restaurant nearby to the office or mm -hmm. whatever we are. Mm -hmm to the clients or whatever mm -hmm. and we sit down and have a two course meal and sometimes even a dessert yeah. if you want to and it's totally normal mm -hmm. yeah yeah they they sell the, this menu with first yeah. girls and second it's like yeah. a fixed price menu we say that is where uh, drivers like truck dri drivers stop by because a lot of time like near to companies there's these trattorie where the people who drive the trucks okay. uh, stop for lunch and they have this fixed price menu where they give you and sometimes even the appetizer, the first course, second course and water and coffee and you do everything in an hour and it's totally yeah. normal. <laughs> yeah, for all the job they, where they don't have like um, office. Of I think the area. correspondent like, in the USA is uh, the fast food. Of yeah, the probably. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. Great. This was really interesting even to discuss yeah. about what are the differences in our country. So we hope so, you enjoy so, this. Yeah, Rosella never been to the US, so do you want to go now that you see uh, what I'd like to go. Yeah. 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 Yeah
to go in some states, in all the states, uh, obviously, but uh, in some particular to taste uh, some food. Is there something you I'd like more? Like uh, uh, maybe pizza, not. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a, a very healthy salad that uh, with salmon and other. Uh, Vegetable and vegetables. Salad? And <laughs> I don't yeah. think it's a salad. It was like uh, um, poke. Ah, oh, okay, okay. 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 Yes, yeah, so it's like to to taste the Hawaiian poke. It um, it seems very good and healthy and uh, would be good to make a to have a travel there. Yeah, yeah. and well, not just for the poke. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I agree. I couldn't agree more. Um, I really, really would like to have that too. Actually, I once when I was in Hawaii, I had some Hawaiian poke and it was really good and different to the one that it became so popular. Even mm -hmm. first in the US, because I remember when I was there, like poke places were popping up everywhere. And now in Italy, of course, with a little bit of delay, they're getting really, really popular too in the past couple of year, years, I would say. Mm -hmm. We have many, many poke, but it's so different to the one that you eat in Hawaii because here is more like a fast food type of place that you pick the ingredients and they make the, the poke in front of you where in Hawaii, at least in the restaurants that I've been, they were like dishes that they would serve to you and you, it's not like you pick what you want and whatever dressing you want, but it's like you go and you eat the poke. It would, it's like, a restaurant. It's, it's a restaurant. restaurant. I would say that poke places that are popping up right now, they look, they would be like the equivalent of a place that you go and you pick the type of pasta and the type of sauce that you want. It's not like you go to a restaurant. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's not a real dish. It's more like a fast mm -hmm. booty type of declination of that dish, but it's still really good. I, <laughs> I like it. Okay, guys, thank you for watching us. And don't forget to put a like if you like the video and see you next time. Bye. Ciao. <laughs>